Well, Twiny, uh, an incredible game of football here at Stadium MK. I imagine leading 3-2 going into the, uh, the final 10 minutes, it's a feeling of frustration in the changing room. Yeah, I think um, I think we're, we're all disappointed that we didn't win the game, especially being 3-2 up and, as I say, 5-10 minutes to go. Um, but that's football. Um, we've scored late goals, we've conceded late goals. That's just, that happens in the season. Um, we didn't play our best today at all. Um, we all know that. We didn't start well enough. Um, conceded three sloppy goals, but um, I think it shows if if you don't play well or play at your best, you're not going to get the three points. And hopefully on Saturday we we do get the three points to play well. You said it there, and your assessment is that we didn't play well. I suppose when you have them sort of games, it's it's the matter of if you can't win it, don't lose it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Obviously, we're frustrated we didn't win it, being 3-2 up late on. Um, but a point's not the worst result. They're a good team. Um, and, yeah, it was a, it was a tough game. We, as I said, we weren't at our best. But we got a point. We didn't lose, and hopefully we win on, on Saturday. I think it shows the, the mentality of this group because it's almost the same feeling that we had at Cheltenham away where, yes, we've picked up a point and extended the unbeaten run, but you know that's not enough for, for you guys and the manager. Yeah, I mean, we go into every game thinking we're going to win and trying to win. So it is disappointing when we don't win. But um, I think, well, hopefully at the end of the season, it'll be a, it'll be a good point. Because um, as I say, we wasn't at our best. And there's not going to be many games this season where we, you don't play your best or you don't play well and get three points. Let's focus on the positives today then and your first career hat-trick. I know it's probably not the, the standing moment considering we didn't win, but what are your feelings on, on that? Yeah, obviously, on a personal note, very happy to score my first hat trick. Um, would have been better if we won, but that's that's uh, that's what it is what it is. Um, but yeah, buzzing to score a hat trick really. It seemed like you just grew with confidence with every goal that went in. Your first goal was unbelievable. Didn't think it'd be top. That your second gets better, and then the hat trick goals. It, it, you know, it's probably the best of the bunch. Um, what was sort of what were sort of your feelings when you're lining up that free kick? Did you did you know you were probably going to get that hat trick goal? Um, yeah, I was really confident over that, to be honest. I, I backed myself from there all the time. I practiced that a lot. Um, so, yeah, I was really confident and thankfully it went in. We were saying in Sartre, just before we, we came onto this interview, that you've not really set a, a target for yourself, but it must be nice to sort of get to that six goals, two assists, closing in on, on ten goals and assists combined. Yeah, yeah, and um, I want to score and uh, get as many assists as possible this season to help the team. Um, and if that helps win games, brilliant, and hopefully that does. You said at the start of the season you want to start scoring more goals from inside the box. That's exactly what you've done today. And, you know, the way we dominate possession and, and, and Liam wants his side to play, you're going to get chances in the box. And as someone who wants to score goals, that must be pleasing. Yeah. Yeah, um, the way we play, I think it helps helps the attacking players. Well, it helps everyone, to be fair. It's, it's a joy to play as an attacking player. I know I speak to... Um, attackers quite a lot and uh, we all love it to be honest it's, it's so fun to play we know we're going to get chances it's just up to us to uh, take them